Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to hide elements. Uh, this is one of those things that you'll go into Revit and you'll use it for four or five months. And once you figure out how to do this, you'll be like, wow, I really wish I knew how to do this, you know, four months ago. Um, it's a really interesting tool. I love using it. For example, in this project here, I uh, imported um, an AutoCAD file of a uh, site plan. And what I did was to get it into Revit, I outlined it all uh, with Revit. I used line, the uh, pick line tool to build my walls, sidewalks, streets, etc. But now I still have that uh, AutoCAD um, file below it. So when, when you start selecting things, you don't really know if you're selecting the AutoCAD version or if you're selecting what you created in Revit. Sometimes it's important to be able to hide things so that you can delete what's below it. Um, so what I'm going to do here is like I know that this line here is in AutoCAD and Revit. So if I click that line, I'm probably clicking the Revit line to be honest, but I don't really know. So what I can do is I can go here, hide element, and then you can still see a yellow line. That's the AutoCAD line. So if you want, you can delete that and then get out of this um, temporary hide isolate and you're left with just the Revit file. The shortcut for this tool is HH on your keyboard. You have to select the line, hit HH. That'll bring up this blue box around it. That'll no, That's indicating that you're in the temporary hide isolate command. And then to get out of it, just hit HR and you're out of it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.